Hey guys, AV Songbird here. Let me turn off my speakers to make sure it doesn't bother you guys with the noises from my computer because it makes sounds. I can't make any apologies for my dogs because they're noisy anyway. But um, I got something on my hand. <laughs> I just noticed that on the recording. But um, this is my weight loss vlog 14. We are now in the middle of December and... I talked to you guys in the first couple of vlogs about it, you know, why I started doing these and everything and how it wasn't just for you guys, but it was a way that I could go back when I was feeling unmotivated and look at the old videos and go, hey, you know, this is the progress I've made. These are the changes that I'm noticing and, you know, to find motivation to keep going when I'm going through plateaus like I'm in right now. Seriously, you guys, I'm still in the friggin' plateau. And you guys are going to laugh. I queued up the playlist and I was getting ready to watch the introductory vlog because I was looking for motivation because friggin' plateau, you know? I'm working really hard and I'm still in the plateau. I was looking for something to give me a little push, right? And it's easy to be, you know, motivated when you're starting something. So I go to watch the video and you guys are going to laugh. This ad popped up because I do have my, you know, videos monetized, you know, woo. I can afford a cup of coffee now, you know, but if I want to do this full time, you know, doing the ads, you know, nickel here, nickel there, you know, making money from ads and everything. I don't like talking about it, but you guys know I don't take money from viewers, donations from viewers, so I have ads. So an ad popped up on my video before my vlog started, and it was an ad on obesity in America, and it was an ad on, you know, having obesity surgery and something, and they were talking about the epidemic of obesity and everything, and how big it was, and how our portion sizes are too big, and how we need to get them under control, and I'm sitting there and I'm going... I came here to look at my old vlogs and to find motivation, not to feel like I'm fighting an uphill battle, you know, and I'm wasting my time and, you know, it was really geared towards trying to talk people into doing the surgeries. And I know the surgeries are a good thing for a lot of people. They help a lot of people. I personally know people who have done weight loss surgeries who are doing amazing, you know, and... For some people, it does work, and their lives are so much better for it and everything, and no, I'm not advocating either getting the surgery or not. For me, personally, I don't want to go that route, you know, just because I'm as young as I am, and I love hard work. I don't mind sweating, you know. I can get out there and work, and I can lift, and I can push, and I can run, and I would much rather do that. I'm not looking at surgery as an option. I'm doing it the old-fashioned way. You know, sweat and hard work and trying to motivate myself. But I sat there and I watched part of the ad and I'm sitting there and, serious, it was one of those moments all you want to do is get ice cream, curl up and cry. You know, because you're looking for motivation and you're like, that was not it. That did not help. But I'm... I did ramp up my mileage on the Fitbit and everything, and I've been doing the 10 miles a day, every day. Yeah, even on the weekends, guys, because why not? You know, I've been doing the workouts and getting back into the 10 miles for so long now. People that are active, you guys get it, you know? When you're working out or when you're doing a lot of walking or running or weightlifting or you're going to the gym or you swim or you run or whatever you do, you know, to be active in your life. You sit there and if you sit down for five minutes, you get antsy. You know, I sit down at my computer to write or to get work done and I'm sitting there and I'm going... I need to be doing something. You know, I need to be active. I need to be up there doing something. <laughs> I finished my 10 miles and I laughed the other night and I was sitting there and yeah, walking dead addict that I am. I was watching a marathon. If ever there was a show in the history of television that'll make you feel lazy for sitting on your ass watching, it's that one. They're running around sweating everything, you know? So <laughs> I finished my 10 miles on my treadmill and I sat down because I'm one of those people I cannot turn off you know, a movie or a show in the middle and walk away. It'll bug me. I'm one of those that has to watch it through to the end if I start it, right? If I'm really into it. 
So I'm sitting there, I'm mid-episode. All you Walking fans out there who, you know, know the series like I do, I know they're out there. I was the middle of the episode, you know, season two, I think it's like episode five. The one where Daryl fell down and hurt himself. Poor guy. Hey, Daryl, pointy end goes in the other guy. You know? But when he fell down and he hurt himself and I'm sitting there and I'm mid episode and I'm, you know, finished my 10 and I'm looking at it and I sat down on the couch to finish, you know, watching the episode because that episode makes me feel lazy as shit. I'm like, wow, I ran 10 miles, but he went through that, (laughs) you know? So I finish up my 10 miles and I go to sit down and I'm watching the episode and (laughs) I was there for like three minutes and I'm sitting there and I'm going... I can't do it. I can't do it. So I hopped back up on the treadmill and I wasn't killing myself at a fast pace. I just went, you know, leisurely. I went at like 3.5 leisurely. 3.5 for me is leisurely. Leisurely. Look guys, unedited. So I'm sitting there and I put it on (laughs) 3.5. And you know, I still had my Fitbit on and I crack up because I ended up going through the end of the episode and I'm going... I've got time. I've got nothing to do. My recording's done for the day. Everything's done for the day. The house is clean. The kids aren't here. Screw it. I'm going to keep walking. So I just walked, you know, and it's like, (laughs) so then I start another episode because of course, when I start a disc, it's all play all. (laughs) I just kept going and all of a sudden I look up and midnight rolls around and I'm going, oh shit. (laughs) Because on my Fitbit, I have friends on my Fitbit. And we compete every week, you guys. And it's so funny because, you know, I've got like 10, 12 different friends that are doing the Fitbit with me. And we do the work week hustle where, you know, you try to see who could get more steps than who. And I'm near the top of this thing every week. And I'm competing with a friend of my husband's that he went to high school with. And she's a fitness instructor. Yeah, guys, as big as I am. And I'm near the top of the heap. And I laugh because... I looked at my husband and I told him, the funny thing is, they're going to think I'm cheating, you know, that I'm, you know, putting it on my dog and letting him run around or something. And I laugh because people look at me in the size I am. And yes, I am sitting here in size eights, but you can't tell looking at me that I'm smaller than that. Sorry about my dogs. They must have seen a cat. But, um... You can't tell looking at me. I'm a size eight, but I'm five two. So I look like I can't run and I laugh because I can get up there and book or I can lift and, you know, I've got stamina like hell to be able to walk or run or lift or whatever. And people can't tell looking at me. (laughs) So I laugh, you know, I get bored and I'll hop up on my treadmill or I'll get bored. And now with me plateaued, I finally said, screw it last night. And I pulled my old exercise bike out of the garage, you know, trying to break through this friggin' plateau to get down to my next, you know. So I pulled my exercise bike in and ramped up because I was over my steps for the day. So I figured now I can really push, you know, I made the goal. Now I can push. And I ramped up the uh, resistance on my bike. (laughs) And (laughs) I can ramp up the resistance on my bike. I have weak arms. I hate how fluffy my wings are. You know, I've got weak ass arms from hell. I really need to start working on them. I've got the hand weights. I'm trying, but I've always had like mule kick legs. You know, back when I was in high school, I was in the weightlifting class and (laughs) I have to tell you guys this one. I don't know if I've told you this story before, but I'm going to tell you because it's on my mind. I was in my weightlifting class in high school for PE, you know, because I'm little You know, I wanted to make sure I could hold my own, right? And wasn't a fighter, you know, always believe don't start it, but you finish it by God. You know, so I joined weightlifting class and I probably did tell you guys this story looking back, but you know, a guy came up and he did the leg lift before me and it was like 90, 80, I think it was like 270 he was lifting and he sat there and he lifted it and then he looks at me and he goes, oh, come on, come on. Do you want me to pull those off for you? You poor little thing, you know? Uh uh-uh. uh. No, I can handle it. No, I got it. I got it. And all my friends are looking at me. They know me and they, Jen, don't do it. Don't do it. I've never backed down from a challenge in my life. 
You know, it's not in my blood. Southern women, man. Irish women. Native American women, man. Women in my family. We don't back down from a challenge, right? It's like, oh, hell no. You're not going to tell us we can't do something, right? So I hop up there and I had my friends put weights on. On top of the 270, it was like 5 or 10 pounds I added on. And the guy had done like 10 reps and quit. And he was bodybuilder guy. Thought he was badass, right? So little five foot two me, I think it was like size eight at the time, but little five foot two me hops up on the leg lift and goes, yeah, I got this, you know, acting like I'm all big and bad. And I put my feet up there and I 15 without stopping, right? With like 280 pounds on it, you know, with my legs. And I did like 15, 20 of them without stopping. And of course the guys are looking. And at this point, everyone in the weight class is looking at me going, you? <laughs> and so I did it and I cracked up because after I quit, I put it down. And he goes, I'll put those away for you. And all my friends, I got up, I walked around the corner and sat down where he couldn't see me, where no one could see me. All my friends followed me and they went, are you okay? And I went, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> but I shut him up, right? I probably told you guys that story before, but oh my God. <laughs> that was the coolest shit ever just to see the look on his face he was bodybuilder big bad you know thought he was the coolest guy in class and I got up there and it's like yes I did it I can't feel my legs the rest of the day I'm gonna pay for it tomorrow but I did it <laughs> but I've always had that attitude you know anytime anyone in my life told me that I couldn't do something that I was incapable of doing something because I was short, because I was a woman, because of anything. If someone told me that I couldn't accomplish something, you know, it always gave me more drive to prove that I could. And it wasn't, you know, trying to hurt myself or anything. It was, I hate to be told that I can't do something because someone else says so. You know, so I've had people telling me, oh, you know, about the weight loss and about, like with my writing, oh, you know, you your writing will never go anywhere, you'll never lose the weight, or people telling me, you know, that I should settle down and grow up and be okay with just being the housewife and being the stepmom and settle down and, you know, make my peace with it and not try to have, you know, all this other stuff on the side that showcases who I am and allows me to push myself to be everything I can be. <clears throat> and it's one of those, why should I settle? Why should I put myself in a box and lock myself away? Because other people tell me I should. You know, I, I love the ideas I'm getting from doing all of this and everything. And I know this isn't weight loss. I know it's a weight loss vlog, but you know, it all comes to bear. Your mindset really does affect if you're trying to lose weight because it's a huge part of your life. I mean, how many relationships do we make around the dinner table, you know, going out to eat with friends? So much of our society is based on food, you know, the movements for organic food and for growing food and greenhouses and the whole culture with all of that. I mean, so much of our society is built around food, you know, and it's amazing. You don't realize until you're trying to get healthy, you know. I have people who eat like I used to eat that are in my life and it's harder to be around people and try not to focus on the fact that, wow, they really shouldn't be eating that. And then, you know, you don't want to sound like you're preaching to them at the same time you're going, wow, you really shouldn't be eating that. And you're thinking in the back of your mind, you know, your mind, your old mindset is still there and your mind's going, damn, I want some. <laughs> I laugh because my husband has a sweet tooth like I do and he sits down and he'll be eating good stuff and I'm going, you know, this pineapple's really good, but that cake looks really good. <laughs> okay, you guys, this vlog has gone on way longer than I meant for it to. <clears throat> but I wanted to talk to you guys for a minute. I weighed myself this morning and I do weigh the same. Um, I've been doing the 10 miles a day or more <laughs> for over a week now. Solid. I haven't missed any days that I know of. I think I did one last week where I didn't do the 10 miles. But 
one of my friends commented on one of my older videos and said, wow, Jen, your face is starting to really um, thin out. And, you know, your shoulders are thinning out. I need to work on my arms. I hate how fluffy my wings are. And yeah, I know that's a weird way to put it. My wings are fluffy. <laughs> but I have friends that are saying, you know, you're thinning out and your hair is getting long. You're looking good. And it's like, thanks, guys. I do really appreciate it. I do have cheekbones under here somewhere. That was one thing I noticed the most about gaining weight was I gained it really in my shoulders. I've got soft shoulders. It's why I don't wear tank tops. You know, it was in my arms and in my shoulders and in my face. You know, but my husband commented on the fact that down here is almost gone. I told him, maybe I should stretch my neck out more. And he laughed, but down here is almost gone. So I'm really working on it, you guys. And I pulled out the exercise bike and I'm going to start doing the arm weights. And I pulled out my old Tybo and I'm going to give it a shot this weekend. So I'm hoping I don't die. <laughs> but I'm going to let you guys go because it's longer than I meant it to be. And I want to get this posted before it gets too late and my stepsons are going to be here shortly. So you guys go ahead and you have a great weekend and I will see you guys hopefully back here Tuesday. This has been A.V. Songbird. Sorry, I had an itch. <laughs> Bye guys.